In this lesson, we're going to talk about Flubaru. Flubaru is a script that does the grading for you. In here, I have some data that was collected via a Google form. Uh, I have my students here, and then the answers that they submitted via the Google form. And so it was just five math problems. Uh, it could be any type of problem that you want to in input there. Um, I also would recommend, uh, and this only works if you do this, so it's highly recommended, that you put in your submission, that you put in the correct answer. So you would go to the form yourself and put the correct answers in and then submit it. Because Flubaru, once it's run, the script that is, it's going to ask you for a key to put up against the other possible answers that your students submitted. And so, um, so I went, went ahead and done that. I put the correct answers in there. And so now I'm ready to go into the script gallery and get Flubaru and load it on my spreadsheet. So there's two ways you can do that. You go to insert and then script or go to data, I'm sorry, tools and script gallery. And it'll take you to the, the same place. So I, for me, it's easier to remember insert script because I'm inserting a script. So, so now it agree, agree, um, gives me some possible scripts I want to can choose from. I'm looking for Flubaru, F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O. -O. I hit search and should come up in a few seconds here. Once it comes up, I'm going to click install because I want to install it on my spreadsheet. So there it is. Here's my install button. I'm going to click on it. And so it's going to take a couple of seconds here to install. And so what it's doing, it's installing. And then once it's done, uh, it will create a button in my menu. Um, and then we have to authorize it. And then accept. And then I close out the script gallery. And as you notice right here, Flubaru is now listed in my menu. And so now I'm ready to uh, start my script. And so I'm going to click on Flubaru. And I have some choices here. Great assignment, set language if I want to, and learn about Flubaru if I wanted to about Flubaru. I want to grade the assignment. So I'm going to hit grade. And a new window is going to pop up. And it's going to ask me what each one of the columns uh, represents. So first name obviously identifies a student, so I'm going to keep it the same. Last name identifies a student, so I'm going to keep that the same. Um, the next five are worth, a, sorry, I can change the point value, so if each one's worth two points, uh, I can do that if I want to. Maybe this one's just worth one point, uh, this one's three points, this one is the big one, five points. So I can change the point value or leave them all the same, all ones, however you want to score it. Um, so once I have that completed, I hit continue, and so this is where it's going to ask me which one is the correct answers, which one is the key. And so I'm going to go through all the selections, I'm going to find mine, because I know mine it has all the right answers. And so I'm going to select it, and then hit continue. And so now we're in the second step, we're going to go into the third step where it's actually going to grade the assignments. So it's grading and grading. Should be done here in a few seconds. There it is. So now it says um, grading has been completed. I can go ahead and view grades. Um, any individual students who scored below 70% will appear in red font. And so as I view my grades here, I can see that uh, there was 13 possible points. Uh, my average points was 8.76. There was 13 submissions, and number of low scoring questions is one. Um, and so here, I, here's my students. Here's the total points that they got. Here's the percentage they got. So uh, anything in red means that they didn't do so good. It's less than 70%. Um, and so I'm going to refresh because sometimes it doesn't fill the column. So I'm just going to refresh my sheet here real quick. And then it should bring up everything. So there we are. Now I have all my data. Mm -hmm. And so now it tells me that question one, my students uh, had 61%. So maybe I need to reteach that. Question two, wasn't too bad, 84%. Question three, 61. The question they really did poorly on was question four, 
and then uh, so I, I can do some reteaching use a three teach but uh, the point is is that um, I can use Flubru to quickly grade an assignment that uh, my students have used um, or used a Google form to submit their answers to and so I'm just going to resize this so it's a little bit easier to read and so now here's my data and um, I can intervene to with those students at our red so this has been a tutorial on how to load Flubru script into your spreadsheet and to quickly grade uh, your students assignments